know, madam. You must see a lot of people going through here, don't you? Hey! I recognize you! You're Woodruff, Azabeth's adopted son! <laughs> We're just going to watch a gameplay, I believe it's around 1995. So let's just watch a classic. At this time, the humans were finally able to leave the core of the Earth, where they were hidden away for several centuries to survive the radiations left by the last atomic conflicts. At the heart of the jungle, they discovered the Buzooks, a race of mutants who were living peacefully at the foot of a hill. The humans took possession of these places by force and built a city on the hill called... But the problem is, indeed, it's Zlots at... Professor Azimuth, do we play with dolls now? Stars everywhere. What happened to me? Ouch! What's this word schnibble that keeps popping up? <laughs> schnibble. Uh, yes, sir. That house behind us. Who does it belong to? It belongs to Professor Asimov. He's a respected man known for his scientific work on time. Something must have happened here tonight. And can you tell me who I am? I don't know you. I've never seen you around here before. Let's go explore. A toy store. I think you gotta go to the toy store. Can't get in the toy store? No, we can't get in the toy store. It's not safe to go that way. There are roadblocks and I don't have my ID. Uh, no. See, from my memory, I don't think I can go into my house. Or into the back of the house. A weird contraption. What is this weird contraption? What a weird thing! I wonder what it's used for. Well, let's take this button. What? Unfortunately, I can't make out what's inscribed because I can't read. It's an A. It's an A. Uh, buddy, why are you so sad? Uh? We bazooks are being oppressed and exploited in the city. <laughs> oh no. Miss, do you live in this neighborhood? Indeed, but I've never seen you there before. 
And the Schnibble knows how good I am at remembering faces. I can remember every single face I have met, may it be only once. What the Schnibble? What's this guy? Huh? Huh? The nut. What? Hey friend, isn't there too much water? Do you think I can cross? Absolutely. There's no danger. You can go ahead. Trust me. <laughs> Snibble face. Can't trust you, can I? Well, let's put the box on there. <laughs> Uh, well, I obviously can't get across there now, can I? Don't look at me like that, fool. I'll find a solution. I'm sure it's the wooden box and put it there. Nut and a button. I'm sure I can. <coughs> can I put that on there? A mutant. Can I talk to the mutant? Well, I guess I can't. So. Unfortunately, I can't make out what's inscribed because I can't read. A button and a nut. This guy looks like a nut, but let's have a look. Unfortunately, I can't make out what's inscribed because I can't read. Oh, of course. Of course. I'm missing something, but what? Oh. Hey, I've never seen you around here before. Have you paid all your taxes? If he can't read, how does he know that that means bazooks go home?
the I'm sure the Come on. to get there while hopping across. <laughs> what an idiot. I have to get there while hopping across. Photo. Okay, ah, oh, so I'm going to use the photo now for that woman who never forgets a face. That's what she said. And there's an A here, and there's an A on the other side, so could. Might be a clue. It's a picture of Professor Esmond. What a good looking man. Here is the article that came with the picture. It's about his research. It okay, anyway, now I've got the boots I can cross. Cross this path. Oh, I'm taking that nut. Live in the area? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Hello, gentlemen. You look so much alike. Are you uh, twins? Okay, drop it. I won't get anything out of him as long as he's plastered. Bad feathers. Then I grabbed a handful of feathers. Those were the good old days. Ah, uh, they were indeed. What's this? The lotto is rigged. Duh. What's up to the bridge of slums? It's the bridge of slums. Uh, one over. 
Squidriff, you are not going to enter this ignominious place, are you? Behind these doors lies a garden of delights. Go on, Woodruff, that's good. Go on. Ah. Ah. Buddy, do you come here often? I say, what's the idea of talking to me like that? We haven't been introduced yet. Are you up to date paying your taxes? Did you pay tax on alcohol content? Australia? <laughs> But I do know you. You are little Woodruff, Azabeth's adopted son. Huh. Come on. So then you know who I am? Well, who are you? I am your school teacher. Bye, you've grown so much. I don't remember a thing. You're saying that Azimuth is my adopted father? Yes. Something terrible must have happened because Azimuth disappeared. Now that I know he's my father, I'm going to look for him more actively. That's what he would have wanted. Here, he gave B this to keep for you. Hey. Thank you. But tell me, who is J.F. Sebastian? That's the lightly bearded Ben over there. What? Do you know him? Yeah. Oh, sorry to bother you, but you must be J.F. Sebastian, the famous literary critic. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Woodruff. Mm, nice to meet you, young man. You wish to talk to me? Yes. I heard that you might have information about what happened at Professor Azimuth's. Yes, I saw a man dressed in black entering, and I even recognized the bigwig. Bigwig? Who is that character? He is the president's right hand, but his government is a masquerade. You think then that the, the bigwig kidnapped Azimuth? For what reason? Because Azimuth is a dissident who preaches subversive ideas. Oh, yeah, about freeing the bazooks. He's in grave danger, then. Oh, yes, no doubt about it. Since the bigwig is also very interested in Azimuth's work on time. Yeah, that's it. I remember uh, now. It all makes Azimuth. sense. I remember the tragic day Azimuth was taken away by the men of the bigwig, the same brute who ruthlessly shot my teddy bear later. Ah, the cruel monster. I'll have to find my daddy, Azimuth, and his schnibble. Schnibble. Something so that I can teach you how to read before I leave. Uh, article. Then she taught me how to read. Those were the good old times. The article was about Dr. Azimuth and the mysterious Schnibble, who nobody had ever seen. Okay, what else do I need to do? Yeah, 
take it easy. I'll notice. Get the weather report dial. Kazig Stobles on your tabazan. Okay. Attacks on headaches and nausea due to hangovers. My, how fast you've grown! I can't believe it. My, how fast you've okay, grown! So I can't, I do can't there. believe it. Believe it or not. Come on. Attacks on temperature rise due to the occupation of space. <laughs> Are you up to date paying your taxes? Did you pay tax on alcohol content? And the tax on headaches and nausea due to hangovers. And the tax on temperature rise due to the occupation of space. <laughs> Weather report dial Kazig Stobles on your Tabazan. Huh. Okay, I guess I'll leave then, I suppose. you little guy as a token please take this meteozone watch it will allow you to determine the precise position of the impact of meteorological disturbance <laughs> hmm? Hmm? Huh. Oh, I drank to forget and it really worked there is a big hole in my memory. Don't 
stone. It's an A and an A stone. Then I'll have to draw Woodruff setting the A made of stone in the imprint, and then he gets a top bazaar. What's that? Okay, so I got that. What the heck's that do? Nothing to give you. I'm new in this town. Uh, can you tell me how to find my way around here? Bad. Very bad. The food is atrocious, and the water is not even drinkable. The humans that govern burden us with many taxes and obligations. Okay. Woodruff, welcome to adulthood. I'm Azimuth, your adoptive father. I don't know if I'm still alive now, but it, it doesn't matter. You must pursue my work, be worthy of me, and find the schnibble. This Tabazan will help you to communicate with certain key points in the city. Go to the red light district. Someone will transmit a message to you from me. Of course. If you are stopped, I will deny having given you this mission. This tape will self-destruct in a few seconds. Huh. Let me get rid of it. Well, that's helpful. Okay. Interesting. I don't think I can do anything here, though there is an A. That's open now. Uh, meant to be able to read now, you know. This tribute to missing bazooks is made of morphoplastic. It's cheap. So I can't take it. Love you, Schnibble. Love you, Schnibble. It is written, honoring our commander, founder of this city, who defeated the cruel bazooks. Okay. Interesting. I don't need to go back to Wino Alley either, so...
go back in the house. I suppose. There's trouble here. Dang, I wish I knew what happened. It's a mess. Looks like a hurricane went through this place. At least you can read. Get in there. There are numerous broken machines inside yes. and indications of fighting. Seems like somebody was dragged out of here. That's all I can say. There are numerous broken oh. machines inside and indications of fighting. Seems like somebody was dragged out of here. That's all I can say. Ah, an elevator. Dang, it only took a slight pressure to get this thing going. Okay. So maybe I can get the bureaucrat. Tell me, Mr. Bureaucrat, who gives you your orders? Ah, dear, Bigwig. He runs this city with an iron fist. Just look at the latest tax reforms. It's heartless. A and where can we find this glorious person? Should be able to move about in the richer neighborhoods up in the city hills. That's where our rulers and the privileged few live. And how do we get to the heights of this city? Ah, to climb the social ladder in this city, one has to work. There are some jobs that the slave bazooks can't do, so there is always work for the humans. Try and you'll see. Huh. Eh. The lotto is rigged. Ooh, the High Morals Club. And the Nut Merchant. I gotta go to the Nut Merchant. is written, fellow citizen. To enter the club, you have to be dressed decently. Hmm. Okay. This merchant sells only nuts from all over, all sizes. Well, you could sell him my nut. It is written, work at the Pushnerbel factory. Ugly surroundings and frantic pace guaranteed. To apply, dial Drubzn Puglap on your tabazin. Okay. Ah, oh, you gotta type it in. Okay. Drew. BZN. Hello, hard-working candidate. You are connected with the recruitment service of the Pashmurgal factory. To establish your dossier for candidacy, I need a breathing certificate which you can procure at the administration center as well as a simple Brotofletrin ID photo. Ooh, I see. Okay. Gambler. Okay. Okay, okay. I suppose I need to ask. Maybe he will know. Maybe. Huh. That shuts you up, doesn't it? Very much. Uh, hello, sir. C could you please give me a breathing certificate? But certainly, dear customer. However, we have to measure your pollution rate first. 
bring me back a sample of your breath in an approved container. I think he's making a mockery of me with his UL approved container, and I'd show him what I think if I weren't against all forms of violence. Uh, what? This merchant sells only nuts from all over, all sizes. Okay. Want to get rich quick? I've got a tip for you. Inside this store, there's a secret passage that leads to an illegal clandestine game room where the betting is heavy. Okay. According to my calculations, this wheel drives the fan out there. Hey, Bertie, can I get your attention? Oh, shit. Uh. No fan, but eh? Yep. Just a hey, Bertie, can I get your attention? Oh, shit. Oh, right, he's looking at the girl. <laughs> okay. elevator is out of order until further notice. Ah, uh, come on. Anything else I can do in there? So this moves. Switch. I saw uh, hovering over a glap, uh, a switch.
Definitely think it's a combination. Huh. No, Bean. <laughs> yeah. It opens. I can go through. Oh, it's very dark in here. The contestants focus before the fight. You might make money if you bet on the red or the black. I don't uh, think so. Hard work, you know. We have to take stimulants. My adoptive father warned me against these harmful products. <laughs> this is the red light district where so many young bazooks come and waste their meager resources to forget for a moment their miserable conditions. I might be able to get a few strolls and learn something. That sly dog Azimuth must have hidden the schnibble in there. This is vacant. Hello, madam. You must see a lot of people going through here, don't you? Hey! I recognize you! You're Woodruff, Azabus' adopted son! I bade you jump on bye knees when you were younger. Bye, you've grown so much. Another one of Azabus ideas. By the way, he gave me something to hand to you. Yep. Oh! You are so clumsy. You broke the stonefish. Okay. A vehicle blocks the passage. It must be the way out of the city. Interesting. Hey, Big Mouth, what game are you playing there? Put down one stroll and choose a cup. If you find the eye, you win three strolls. Alright, I might end it there. It's a nice uh, short little gameplay of the game. Um, yeah, I hope it brought back some memories. But uh, Woodruff and the Schmibble of Azimuth. Anyway, if you want to see further videos, please leave a comment below. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. And remember to hit that bell notification because I put all put games up every day. Um, new games, old, new, big and small. So yeah, if you liked it, just remember to subscribe. Okay, thank you for watching and I'll catch you next time.